been a while since I got a video up, but we're finally about to do some more work on the Silverado. This would have been done probably a couple weeks ago, but I had to wait on our terrible local FedEx facility to deliver the order that I was waiting on for the truck. But finally it got here. We're just through with Christmas. Finally got some days now that I can actually get to work on it. So what we're working on today is removing these chrome running boards and we're gonna be putting on retractable running boards from Rough Country. We just gotta take these off first and then we'll start working on mounting the brackets and the motors, setting up some wiring and then mounting the new steps, making sure everything lines up good and we'll have some retractable running boards when it's all said and done. So let's get started. This is the bracket for the running boards that are on the truck from the factory. There are four of these brackets on each step with two half inch socket or bolts. So we're just gonna remove 16 bolts and then we can get these steps off and start working on getting the new ones put on. One of the bolts on each bracket is down here at the bottom side. The other one is up here at the top. The driver's side step is off the truck. The way that I did this was I went ahead and just took out all of these bottom bolts on the brackets all the way across. And then I loosened these up here on the side. As you can see, the upper ones are slotted they don't go all the way around so you don't actually have to remove the bolt completely to get this off you just want to loosen these bolts and then slide it towards the rear of the truck to get it off the bolt and let it drop then once you get it down you can go back in and take the bolts completely out going to repeat the process on the passenger side once I get the new steps on and I make sure everything's working properly, I plan on putting these online for sale, probably on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. I'll put a link in the video description for anyone that's interested in looking at them. They will be local pickup only, for most likely. I don't plan on paying the cost to ship these or asking the buyer to pay the cost to ship these because they are so large. It's going to be an expensive shipment. Uh, so if you're interested, Scroll down in the description, click the link, see if they're still available. And I'll be interested in selling these chrome running boards to anyone that's got a 19 or newer Silverado. Now that we got the steps off the truck, you can see they're removed. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good without steps. I think it might look really good without steps, but steps come in handy. They're very functional. So we're gonna put on some retractable steps. First thing I gotta do is work on the brackets and motors for this kit there are six brackets for the steps motors are already connected to the middle two brackets on each side so we're just going to follow these instructions and get to work we're going to start with the brackets on the driver's side since that's what the instructions are doing and i'm going to follow the instructions step by step for this process under the truck you're going to have some holes that are probably going to have some uh, rubber or plastic plugs in them. Just these little black circular plugs. You just want to pop those out. And then in two of these holes, you're going to insert these little L-shaped bracket bolts. Just going to slide it in like that. And we're going to do the same thing right there. We're going to take these washers and flange nuts off. And then we're going to go get the first bracket. You want to make sure these are held in place pretty well with these plastic washers so they're not wobbling all over the place. slide a bracket onto those bolts and put the washers and flange nuts back on. And 
these flange nuts are a one half size, just like the bolts that we took out of the original bracket for the steps. We're just gonna snug it down a little bit. We're not gonna tighten it all the way just yet. I just wanna make sure the bracket's held pretty good. We still gotta put the bolt in the bottom. Use a regular bolt that comes with the kit. For this stock threaded position down here on the bottom. The instructions say these are 13 millimeter, but pretty sure that's a half. We're just gonna snug everything down real good. I'm not gonna fully tighten it down just yet. And then we're gonna move to the center bracket, which is the one that's got the motor on it. For the center bracket, we're gonna use two of the factory threaded holes and one of these plugged ones. So we're gonna take the plug out and put in one of these L-shaped bolts. And we'll go ahead and put in this bottom bolt to help hold it in place. And line it up. Now I'm doing the washer and the flange nut on the L-shaped bolt. Got one more bolt up here on the side. And then we just snug everything up. We just got one more bracket to do on the driver's side. We got two factory holes and then one plugged hole is gonna use an L-shaped bolt. We've installed all of the brackets on the driver's side. Now we're gonna repeat the process with the passenger side brackets and then move on to the next stage of the installation. We have the brackets installed on both sides of the truck. The center bracket is the one that's connected to the motor so it's currently folded in. It won't come out until we get all the wiring hooked up and then we can mount the steps and get those lined up properly. But to do the wiring, we've got to unhook the battery and then we're going to start using the items that are in the control module box. Right, so we got a lot of wiring ran. What you actually have to do to get the wires into the truck for the control module is drill a hole through this plug here. It says to take it out in the instructions, but it's really kind of stuck in here. You, I don't think I want to mess up that seal. So I just drilled the hole right here where it's at. It's no big deal. We'll silicone that to plug the hole up make sure it's sealed good the module is hooked up if I can get the camera back here right here it's screwed in back here behind this panel wires are hooked up to it these wires coming through here are for the battery and both of the motors everything's plugged up back here I've got the wires kind of spooled in here and then it's running up the back behind everything so it doesn't interfere with the brake pedal, gas pedal, or nothing. So hopefully when I put the carpet down to get my floor mat back in, you won't really notice that there's anything under here. 
interior wire update instead of keeping everything curled up here where kind of my feet might go and be sitting all under here we ran most of the wires under this plastic piece where the dead puddle is and some right here on top of it and tucked it away on this side so it'll be completely out of the way i won't have to worry about stepping on it or getting my feet on it or anything and ending up messing up the wires i think this is going to be a much better just situation overall for all of these wires that are tucked away here on the inside of the truck i uh, didn't show me running the wires under the truck because it's just trying to be under the truck and run the wires and record all that at the same time just didn't seem like a feasible thing for me to do myself so basically you've got the middle bracket on each side which is about right here kind of directly under the back of the, the back door of the truck you've got the wires for the motor i just ran it along the out the frame following some of the other wires that are ran under the truck and then brought it up through that plug over there Then on the other side of the truck i ran it up along the frame under the transmission brace to keep it away from the exhaust then came back up on top of the frame on this side and into the hole in the cab so it's pretty simple to do you just want to make sure you keep the wires away from any heat sources like the exhaust and i used the zip ties that they provided with the kit to make sure that the wires stayed up against the frame and they're not going to be loose and everything like that the only issue that I've got with the instructions in this kit is that it doesn't tell you about these LED wires at all. The only way to get them out of the truck would be to put it through the plug, but the hole that it tells you to drill is not big enough for these to go through, these little harnesses to go through, especially once you run all these other wires. But up next, I'm just gonna be hooking the power source up to the battery. I'll bring y'all over here. This is the power source cable for the system and the module. It's got its own fuse in here. The instructions say to connect it to this Right here, so you're gonna take this nut off, put this under it, put the nut back on. We have the steps on the truck. Once you get the brackets and the wiring ran, Putting the actual step or running board on is not that difficult. There's three metal blocks that are in a groove on the underside of the step. You just slide them to where they will slot in with these brackets on the braces. And then bolts go in from the bottom up. The only thing I will say is be careful with how much you tighten those bolts. If you get them too tight, it can actually cause these braces to have a bind when they try to fold in or out which can cause them to not have their full range of motion so they might not fold all the way in or they might not come all the way out if that is the case for you just get under there loosen the bolts up a little bit and try it again and then once you get them loose and you see that full range of motion you can slowly tighten them and test and tighten and test to get them as tight as you want them to be while making sure that they still fold all the way in or come and come all the way out the only thing that i did have to do on this passenger side is put some shims on this rear bracket where it bolts to the inside of the bottom of the truck back there when the steps were in they weren't folding in as far as i wanted them to this rear end of the step was sticking out probably about this far even though the front was in real good so i wanted to put some shims in and one shim on each of those bolts actually pulled it in far enough to where it got the look that i was going for and got it in as far as i wanted it 
So now it's really straight along the bottom of the truck. It's in looking real good and that's it. That's the final outcome from this project. I'm really excited about these. I love that I now have a clean side profile on the truck. I think it looks really good instead of having steps constantly just sticking out. I like that these steps actually extend a little bit lower than the factory ones that I had on the truck. That means that when I get around to doing a little bit of a lift kit that I want to eventually do, the lower profile of the steps will help with still getting up in the truck, even with the lift kit installed. So I'm excited about that. I really like the look of these and I'm really happy I made this purchase. Link to these, this product in the description below. If you're interested in purchasing my Chrome factory running boards, there's a link to the Facebook marketplace a listing in the description below if they're still available i don't know how long they'll take to sell but check it out if you're interested thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it glad i finally got another video up on the channel this is southpaw garage signing out